Hey guys, how you doing? Okay, so this video is going to be a request for help with the NES consoles that I purchased. Basically, the two consoles I've got when I first got them, I switched them on, got the blinking red light, which I know can be rectified by other, uh, taking out the 72-pin connector, adjusting the pins, uh, lifting them back up and cleaning it, or you can just put a brand new connector in there. So I put new connectors in both of them to cure that problem. However, the, uh, the other problem I'm having with both systems, and I've had this before I put the new connectors in as well, so it's not the new connectors causing this, is that on the games, I'm getting interference, I'm getting fuzzy backgrounds, and this game in particular, Heavy Barrel, is really badly suffering. On level one in particular, you get like a, like a major ghosting effect, like a diagonal ghosting all across the screen, and I can't work out what the hell's causing it. Now, for anyone that knows about how to repair NESs, I've tried both NES consoles on two different CRT TVs, and an LCD TV as well, all got the same problem. I've tried four different UK Mega Drive Model 1 power supplies, I've tried the American power supply that came with the machine for a step down converter. I've also tried a third party power supply that I have. I've tried several AV composite output cables, including the American ones that came in the box with the machine. I don't know if that makes any difference how they're wired, I don't know, but I thought I'd try it anyway. And no matter what I try, they're always the same issue and I just cannot work out what's causing it. So I'm hoping by showing you this video you'll see the problem and somebody will instantly know what the issue is. I've also cleaned all of my games as well, took them all apart, give them a good old clean down. So I don't really understand the issue, but if you know how to fix it, let me know. So I'll show you what the problem is. Hopefully if you see it on video, you can probably see straight away that the image is fuzzy as soon as it moves. With a static screen like that, it's fine. But as soon as the screen starts to move, you can probably see there, there's a ghost effect going from bottom left to bottom top right and then when you go down the screen it's from well it's sort of all over the screen actually it's a bit top left to bottom right but now it's just all over the shot but it's a major ghosting effect on the sand and it does appear to be background specific as well because some levels well in fact at the end of this stage when you get to the boss the screen turns white as a background and you can't see the problem so I mean I'm not sure if it's just there and it's being masked or it only affects certain areas, I don't know. But it's bloody frustrating, let's put it that way. And I say, this is the worst game I've got out of all of them that does it. With Castlevania, the background's just fuzzy as hell when the screen moves. And Contra, as I've mentioned before in other videos, what happens with that game is that the, the black background, which represents like the night time and stage one, that one, when you move, it, go, it rotates in a diagonal upwards. It's really weird. And as soon as you stop moving, it goes back to normal again, it's just standard. So I don't know why it's doing that. And hopefully you can see on this one here, the logs, they look all really fuzzy. I don't know if it's going to come across that rock, it's not that clear. I've got to say, this game is absolutely fantastic, by the way, I love it. It isn't the best of these eight-way scrolling run and guns, but the soundtrack on it is just fantastic. I love the music. Hopefully you'll see that in there. From left, from right to left, it's really badly ghosting. And as soon as you stand still, the screen's fine again, it's normal. I mean, I just assumed it was either down to the cleaning of the games and the, and the connectors, or it was down to the power supply or something. I, was, I just cannot figure out what's causing it. So I, I don't know really anything about electronics at all. I mean, you can see it pretty bad there on the blue. It looks really horrendous. I know nothing about electronics. I'm just going by what I've read online and. I'm just learning as I go along at this point, so hence the video because I need advice. So it's driving me crazy. As you can see the screen's just turned white now, and there's no problem. Oh, what then? I didn't before. That's different. What the hell's that? Is that a landmine or something? What is that? That's a weird grenade. I've never had one in before. Huh. Right. So when you get to stage two, it's not as bad. It's more the background fuzz than anything. Just show you on a bus for this door. if I get through the door. <laughs> That's what happens when you look at the camera and don't look at the TV. Right, so this bit in particular, you might notice when the screen moves, this bit underneath my feet there is all fuzzy. And those big brown blocks on the top right hand corner, they're all going to turn right, but when I go left, they fuzz like crazy, it looks like they're on electric. And all those little, all these little bits here where my character is on the wall. So, yeah, they're just going mental. Quite annoying. So, I mean, if anybody knows how to fix it and it is just a simple fix, let me know. 
because I don't know if it's down to the uh, composite output and all the video outputs knackered on the two machines. I haven't got an RF cable to test on the RF, you see, because the, um, the, the RF that comes with the machine is American and their RF is completely different to what we use. Uh, it's more like what we use for Sky over here, like coaxial cable. There is actually an adapter in the box, but the adapter doesn't fit my TV, so it's the wrong size. But I have ordered an RF cable, so I'm hoping it's going to fix the problem. Unless, of course, the RF cables are wired for PAL, in which case I'm knackered. Um, and so I know nothing about electrics, so Christ knows if that's going to happen. I would assume the universe wouldn't make any difference, but I don't know. You son of a bitch. So yeah guys, anyway, if you know how to fix it, please let me know in the comments below, or if, you, if you've got the time, and it's a simple fix, just whack a video response up for me. Although, I know you can't do that anymore, I think it's gone now because of Google being twats, but just let me know you've made a video and I'll come and have a look at it, that's the easy way. So thank you very much for watching guys, and I uh, hope to hear some information from you guys who know all about electronics and how to fix this. So uh, thanks for watching, I'll see you all again soon.